Question number eight. A value-based a value-based marketing philosophy must be adopted completely by a company, must be ingrained in their culture, and must be foremost in a company's approach to customers and to the marketplace. Comment about the degree to which this statement is true using as many lessons, chapters, key takeaways from the semester as possible. This statement is true because you cannot get the most out of your customer financially speaking unless you are able to express and distinguish who you are doing it for as well as understanding these customers. Total value includes all aspects of the sales process from your employees, channels you use, supply chain, management and communication styles. A value chain is successfully is successful when you have appropriate value enabling structures, infrastructure, people management, resource acquisition technologies that are eventually value creating in terms of your input logistics, operations, delivery logistics and services. The importance of building this philosophy is related to the principle that both your tangible and intangibles within the firm must be tailored towards an added value structure for your clients. This value has to be easily communicated in B2B because price is the measure of value exchanged and it is determined determined by the market. The culture of the firm must be oriented towards value creation by choosing the value, customer segmentation, market selection tools, value positioning, providing value, product development, service development, pricing, and communicating the value, personal selling. The company before producing must know who they are doing it for and once that question is answered understanding their needs and desires so that you can tailor your offerings to them and build a relationship based on helping your clients achieve their objectives eventually increasing your worth and total value profits Profit is truly gained through retention and building a reputation. And this is where value-based marketing philosophy comes into play. If you cannot, if you can help another firm gain value in their total offerings, you automatically benefit a lot more in the short and long run than simply selling a product at a specific price. Personal selling is based on providing solutions, marketing intelligence to gather data and understand cost customers better, channels to, communi to communicate appropriately with clients, and nurture collaborative, collaborative relationship. Focus on creating brand recognition through strong relationships and building trust. Make it part of your organization, of your organizational culture to gain value through relationship building and tailoring your openings to humans, not to businesses, in getting a better understanding of their needs. This is the key to success in a service dominant era. Goods dominant logic where products offer the value for B2C. Everything you do must be oriented towards providing value added, providing added value to your customer in his respective business. Total value offering is the core product plus financing terms and delivery options.